Okay, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to do some practice management searches. So we start out by going to report, and we're going to create a new template, so we'll click this create new template icon. So first we will do a title for this, and Um, so we will be doing sales for a certain amount of criteria here. And next, the report that we want to choose first off will be patient list. And then we move into the demographics. So we want to have the gender be female. We want the status to be the active patients on the panel. And now this isn't something that, that uh, you would need to do when you're doing it, but just so that I don't get any patient data, I'm just going to tell it to only give me patients with the last name test. Um, and then you would put the primary provider, so it fills it in automatically. And then we're wanting to look for, for, pay, for females between the ages of 50 and 79. And so probably your natural instinct would be to put the age range in here, but it is more accurate to put the date of birth in here, and then it, it keeps it accurate day by day, whereas the age range would only up the age at the beginning of the, of the year. So, I'll put the date of date in like 35, start off with, and then the date in like so this would give us our 50 to 79 range and make sure that both of those boxes are checked there. And next we'll go on to the observation. So what we want to have is um, we want to find people who do not, who have not had an LDL cholesterol done in the last three years. So we're going to click the not and then look for LDL cholesterol, and you have to know which one, like what your specific uh, observation type for your labs are called in order to pick the right one. Um, make sure you check both of these boxes. So this checking lab checks for only the last value for this, the most recent one, so that's what we're wanting. And then in order to have this go from three years ago, to today, we switch back to 2011. Make this as today. So that put the, the cholesterol left in there. And then we also want to put in criteria for uh, someone who has not had a hemoglobin A1C or a glucose fasting in the last uh, three years. So to do an AND, we Click this to add another criteria section. And I'll show you the difference between the and and the or when we put these in here. Next one. So again, we're, we're doing not. We're looking for so then you want see. Then we click both those. And again, we put a three-year timeline. So what we have right now is we're looking for somebody who has neither LDL cholesterol and not hemoglobin A1C as well. So this is an and when we do the sections like this. Now for this, we want to choose, because both hemoglobin A1C and fasting glucose satisfy the, the one maneuver, we will do an or to say hemoglobin A1C or fasting glucose. So this is where we check, where we click this plus sign. And so this adds an or, hemoglobin A1C or fasting glucose. Okay, we check that for that as well. Um, and the final 
criteria, we want this to be an and. So again, we will click the plus at the top there. This one will be not fecal occult blood or fit test done in the last year. So again, we'll click the not. Add that one in there, and then because either a, a cold blood screen or a fit counts towards the same maneuver, we will really use the or. So say they can have either one of these. It's in the last year. So to review what we have here, we are wanting to have females who are active with a certain provider who are in between the ages of 50 and 79, who have had no allele cholesterol in the last three years, and no hemoglobin A1C or glucose fasting in the last three years, and no occult blood screen or fit test in the last year. So once we have all of that criteria in there, we will go down and save. And now we can find this in here. All right, so because we have a uh, patient's list already chosen, that will come up as the default. And so to show the Excel file, the CSV file, you click on Print Preview, open it up, and here's the one test patient that I've set to find for this. So you can see on this list, uh, you know, it has the chart number, it has the person's name, uh, their age, gender, and more importantly, probably the phone number. So this is how you can create lists for to, to review to do um, recall. So now I'm going to show you how you can. We want to make a male version of this, and they have a slightly different age range. So instead of having to do the whole thing again, you can do. The uh, you can use the existing one. So we have this one open here, the one that we created before, and then we can click the Create New Template from Existing. So we can click on that, and it brings up what looks like a new set over here, but it still has retained all of the settings that you put in there. So we will name this. And then we will change the gender male and also changing the, uh, the date of birth. We want this to be between 40 and 79. So we will still start We'll go down and save. So now we have one for female, one for male, exact same report. All right, so now this next section will show how you can put an apply task on an existing search criteria that you already have created under practice management. But first, we want to create the task that you will be applying. So we go to template, 
and create a new task. So this we would call something like outreach screening or whichever, whatever, or if you'd like to identify that. Appropriate category for that would be patient follow-up, and there's different types that you can choose from. I'll just choose recall to clinic. And then you want to make sure it's assigned to who you would like to set the task to. We'll be doing the calling and the recalling of patients. And make sure you do that as active. So once you've created that, we want to add it to the search template. Go back to report. We'll find the one that we had done before and we open it for editing. Now, the only thing we will change here is now we want to, under service, we want to apply tasks. So you can see there are several different choices that you can do for different things, but today we'll just talk about applying a task. So we choose that one and then you choose which task. So there are a lot on this list here, but go down to the section. You know where you have category put under, which is patient follow-up. Follow-up and once we created the outreach screening. Open it there. And then go down and save it. So now we're still on that same one, still have it open, and you'll see what the setting we had before for the patient list up there, but now you'll see that we also have things down here. Now in order to get patients to apply them to, you click on this search, and it again return that one test patient that I have, and you can see it's already pre-filled in apply task and patient follow-up. Now you can, if you want, um, and edit this to add in specific things that you're following up for. So let's take this LDL, blood sugar, and colorectal. You can add whatever you'd like in there. Um, but know that when you do this, you are actually changing the template. So if you want to change it every time, that would be that would be right. To work. You just want to keep it blank all the time. That would work as well. But whatever you change here on the fly will actually change the template. So now you can, if you would like, from here you can um, open up the charts and review them before you do anything to it. So you can open it up like that. Maybe there are patients on your list that you don't want to end up applying tasks to, so you can review the list from here. And if there's a patient don't want the tasks to get applied to, you simply uncheck them. So once you know that everyone on your list has a check mark that you want to have a check mark, then you go down to the gears icon and it will execute the service, the, the task on all the search results are up there with a check mark. But that little box comes up and it's done. So then we can look and Check and see. And there's our task that we just created there. <clears throat>